There's more to this fishing trip than catching fish. And these are special fish, endangered short-nosed sturgeons. The primary threats to sturgeon occurred when dams were built. It, it limited the sturgeon's access to their historic spawning grounds. There also are water quality issues concerning the, the sturgeon in their critical habitats as well as spawning habitats. The sturgeon family is among the most primitive of the bony fishes, and the short nose is the smallest of the three sturgeon species that are found in eastern North America. But they can still reach more than four feet long and weigh 50 pounds. Females can live more than 60 years. Here on the Savannah River in South Carolina, scientists are implanting radio transmitters in sturgeon. Just so we can track them and look at their seasonal habitat movements, as well as the, the spawning habitat movements, see where the spawning grounds are located, and also look at their oversummer and overwintering habitats within the river. That information will be important for sturgeon conservation, but it's also critical for a much broader purpose. We are trying to restore ecological flows to the Savannah River, and we're using the sturgeon as an indicator of the success of restoring ecological flows to the river. When river systems are altered by dams, dredging, and pollution, the decline of river species like sturgeon is a clear indicator that the health of the river is in trouble, a warning to those who depend on it for drinking water, recreation, energy, and agriculture. A good way to monitor the health of the Savannah River is to follow the sturgeon. It spends its time down here in the estuary, um, feeding and growing. This is where it gets all its best food source. And then when its females are ready to spawn their eggs, they'll swim all the way upstream um, to try and find some good quality spawning habitat upriver in the fresh water. On many rivers like this, the Nature Conservancy is working with state and federal scientists and the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers to restore healthy natural flows of fresh water needed to sustain native species. By following these fish and, just, and really figuring out whether or not they can make it into their habitats, we're going to know whether or not we're restoring the right kind of flows to the system. Even on rivers blocked by dams, like the Savannah, these projects are showing that sustainable natural river flows are possible and that species like short-nosed sturgeon can still be protected, along with the healthy rivers they need to survive. For This American Land, I'm Gary Stryker.